What's up everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. On today's video, we're doing the Rec blah, 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 the Breckenridge Whiskey finished in PX Sherry Casks. Okay, so Breckenridge, my beautiful girlfriend Ashley got me this actually pretty bit ago now. I've been holding on to it. I haven't done it yet. Excited to try it today because this thing is looking dark in the bottle from that wine finish. I like wine finishes. Some of them can be overpowering, but we'll see where this one ends up today. And I really like dark whiskeys in general. So I'm excited to try this one today. It is only coming in at 90 proof here. So yeah, you know, that's what it is. It says it's a high rye bourbon mash aged in Aged for a minimum of three years in charred new American oak barrels, finished in PX Sherry Cacks, batch number six, coming in at 45%, produced and bottled by Breckenridge. So I had have some Breckenridge stuff before. This doesn't sound like they're making this one. This sounds like they're just finishing this one, but a high rye bourbon mash bill finished in those Sherry Cacks. Let's go ahead and pop the bottle, get the nosing straight out of the bottle. Boom, all right. Here we go, on the nose. Yep, that's wine. <laughs> that is wine all day. It actually smells almost completely like it's just wine out of a glass. Yep, maybe a hint of that rye spice in the background coming out of the uh, bottle here, but it smells pretty much just like a, almost like a, maybe a watered down cherry wine, but that's kind of, you know, interesting when it's 90 proof compared to what wine would be. So anyways, a little less dark in the glass here than it was in the bottle. The bottle makes it look almost black, uh, at least to me, but definitely lighter here once we get it out of the bottle, which is that, that thick boy. So excited to try this one today with you all. Hey, do me one big favor, hit like, hit subscribe. Free for you means a lot for me. Let's go. Cheers, everybody. That is not, so it's definitely got the sherry wine finish on there, but it almost has like a like a single malt note to it, which is quite strange because it says it's high rye bourbon finished in those sherry casks. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to unpack this one a little bit more here. Pretty much same nosing coming out of the glasses out of the bottle. So it's got that sherry wine influence up front, but I don't know if it moves into like a single malt scotchy notes uh, once you get through that little bit of sweetness up front. The wine is not nearly as overpowering on the palate as I was expecting uh, when I nosed it, but it's definitely there and then it moves into what is just kind of confusing me right now. I think the fact that it's 90 proof is probably really bringing this one down a little bit for me, maybe if it was a bit stronger, but I'm just not really enjoying the finish on this one with this, I, get, don't get me wrong, I like scotch, I like that kind of stuff, but it's giving me that Sometimes when you have a scotch or an Irish or something like that that you don't like and it gives that kind of weird grainy scotchy single maltiness notes in the in the finish that's kind of what I'm getting on the finish of this one. Yeah, it's all right up front but I really I really do not like the finish. So I'm struggling in my mind right now of where I want to rank this thing. One because I've had some Breckenridge stuff before that I really enjoyed. Two because my girlfriend got to me this bottle, so I don't want to tell her that I don't like it, and she does watch most of the videos. Uh, three, I like pretty much everything else about it, the color in the glass, the label, all that good stuff. It's pretty much all hitting every factor there. The nose, I can even deal with, but the, the palette is just not, not, it's not my jam. Not really my thing. Let me give him one more drink here, and then I'll go ahead and officially rank it on the tier system. It's just not doing anything for me. I like sherry too. It's probably one of my more enjoyed wines. I don't drink wine often, but if I do, sherry has a good chance of being the thing that I order. But this one is just not working for me for some reason. I don't know if it's maybe the fact that it's the, the high rye mash bill mixed with it that's kind of throwing it off and then putting this weird aftertaste in there for me that kind of lingers for a while because you get, it's almost like drinking just that sherry up front but it goes away quite quickly and then moves into that kind of not as good finish for me. So for me, oh man, I haven't done this in a while. I have not done this for a while, but I think it's gonna go on the D tier. 
This is one of the lower ones that I've ranked in quite some time. Technically the D tier says mixed drink. I don't know what you would make um, a cocktail out of this with, but I'm sure there's something out there. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put it on the F tier because I could drink it and nothing has hit the F tier yet. You gotta be God, God, God awful, I think. I don't think anything's hit the F tier. Maybe one did. I don't remember though, but yeah. I'm sorry, Breckenridge, nothing against y'all. I've liked some of your other stuff, but this one is just a miss for me. So it's going on the D tier today for me. What do you guys think? Am I right on this? Have you had it before? Please let me know down in the comments below. I would be very interested specifically on this bottle to know what other people have thought about it because for me, it's just not my thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully the next one will be a better bottle and I'll see you for your next drink.